you've really got to think about that one little thing when before you leave to to move to the US or for any country for that matter, you know, just making sure that you know life's gonna change. You know, not just yours, but the life you leave behind is gonna change as well. Hi explorers, no Morgan this week, just myself. And this video is gonna be a little bit more personal this week. Morgan and I celebrated our 10 year anniversary this month and it also marks 10 years since I have permanently moved from the UK to the US. Morgan and I love sharing our story with you and sharing our family adventures with you, but there's one video that's got a lot of attention since we published it, and that was a video I did about moving from the UK to the US permanently. And we've had a lot of response to it and people asking questions, how can I move? And I even appeared on a podcast answering questions on immigration to the US. If you're thinking about moving to the US or you're ready to move to the US, there's one thing I really want you to think about before you do. When I left the UK, I knew what I was getting into. I knew that I was gonna be leaving and starting a life in a new country. But I've also been going back and forth for the last four years with Morgan, back to the US, back to the UK, multiple flights. So I was thinking, no big deal. I'm gonna fly back and forth all the time to see my family. And they're gonna be flying over in three months for the wedding anyway. We got this. Well. Life happens. You buy a house, you find out you're expecting mid renovation, you become parents, you start your own business, a second little boy pops into your world, a pandemic happens and the world shuts down. So you sell your home, you buy an RV, and you decide to travel to every state on an epic adventure. And before you know it, 10 years have passed and you've only been back to the UK once. And now it's the holidays, it's Christmas time. And so the guilt that I feel is like highly intensified around this time. And my life obviously has been happening, but just because I've left and my life is happening here, their lives have also happened, you know? Like my mum and dad have divorced. They sold their family home. I've lost like two grandmas and my granddad and my brother has two beautiful daughters now. I, I forget, you know, like my life's happening, but you know, it's not the same back in England anymore. And even if I went back now, I feel like I probably have like a mental breakdown because nothing is the same as I left it at all. And so just something to really think about if you are considering it, it's like just because your life is gonna continue, their lives are gonna continue too. And like things are gonna change, things are gonna happen. And it's hard to stay on top of it when your life is also happening and, and to keep up with it. Thank goodness for modern technology. I'm always trying to get on FaceTime and talk to my mum and, and she even sent over this like massive box of English candy this week which the kids loved and I've definitely had my fair share of already. But it's not the same as being there in person, you know, being back in England and, and hugging your family in person and just, you know, just sitting down and having dinner and it's it's hard because, you know, there's times where we're like we've had the money and the means, but we haven't, you know, we haven't had the, the time necessarily from work to do it or vice versa, you know, when you've got four people now to fly out, it can be expensive, you know, especially during the holidays to make those flights back and forth. And so when you're thinking about making this move, just really prepare and plan for like, okay, I'm going to make sure that, you know, once a year or every two years I'm flying back out and this is how I'm going to do it. It's snowing here right now in Michigan, but I cannot wait to get back on the road in the RV, finish up those states, and then get on a plane with the family and go surprise my uh, English family, surprise my mom and my dad and my brother and my sister and all my family that are there. That is what I'm looking forward to. Thank you so much for watching. You know, we really appreciate this community that we've built. And if you have any questions about moving to the US, would love to try and answer them for you in the comments. Um, I know that you know we were bombarded last time with questions, so if you have any, please feel free to drop them down below and I'll try my best to answer them. And just have a great Christmas with your family. If your family's around, enjoy every second with them.